Yo, what up, though? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment. And the Baltimore Ravens is in a Super Bowl or bust mode. That's why they need to go out right now and sign Michael Thomas. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I know many people going to say, man, hell no, Michael Thomas. He, oh, he always injured. I agree with y'all on that. But he might bring something to the Ravens' office, man. The Ravens' office already had nice weapons in place. And let's be for real. Michael Thomas ain't had the best quarterback throwing him in the football the past couple of years, man. He had an old-ass Asian Derek um, me Drew Brees. He got stuck with Derek Carr. Like, let's be for real, man. And the Ravens will not be paying Michael Thomas a lot of money. It would be a one-year deal for probably about 5 or $6 million, probably with no guaranteed in the contract. So if he ain't looking good in training camp and mini camp, they can cut his ass. But it might be a big upside bringing Michael Thomas to the Ravens offense, man, because the Ravens just signed Derrick Henry. The Ravens are still a run-first team, and I like their wide receiver. I like Batman. I like Flowers. I'm not really too big on Art Aguilar, and I like the tight ends, Andrew, man. But Michael Thomas could be – he could slide in there and be a good number three wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. And the Baltimore Ravens would have good depth at the wide receiver spot too if they bring on Michael Thomas. Like the Ravens right now, they're trying to compete for a Super Bowl, man. They did good signing Derrick Henry. They need a running back like that. Now keep on building around that offense, around Lamar Jackson, so y'all can get y'all a Super Bowl, man. Lamar got paid. Like he got paid. Now it's Super Bowl the bus. Buffalo isn't going to be that good this year. I don't think the Bengals going to be that good this year. And who else is in the AFC for real? Like, the Steelers should be better, but I don't see them as no threat to the Baltimore Ravens. But that's why I said the Ravens need to go out and just finish building on that offense, man. And you can draft you a nice wide receiver in the NFL draft. If the NFL draft pick hit, shit, you cut Michael Thomas. If he don't, let the young wide receiver develop throughout the season, and see what happened after there, man. But I would go on and sign Michael Thomas, man. You won't be paying him a lot of money, and Michael Thomas might not produce for the Ravens, or he might ball out for the Ravens. Like, we got to look at the good and the bad. The good could be, hey, man, when he, when he in one-on-one -on -one coverage, he going to tear any cornerback up who is covering him, man, because Zay Flowers going to be running around. Andrew going to be working in the middle of the field, man, and you still got Beckman out there doing his thing. And you got Derrick Henry, who they're gonna be who they're gonna be worried about. So the Baltimore Ravens offense is in a good spot, man. I just feel like they need another wide receiver too to break that wide receiver crew all the way in into in into the NFL, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I like the wide receivers though, but they just missing something to me, man. I don't know what it is. And I ain't think Odell was gonna bring it to the to the offense last year. And I was right. Cause he ain't turned that offense up. You know what I'm saying? But Michael Thomas might can, man. This right here might get Michael Thomas' groove back, man. We all will know how Stella got her groove back. In a minute, we're going to be saying, how did Michael Thomas get a groove back? He went to that Baltimore Ravens offense. Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry running that read option. Lamar throwing, Derrick, um, throwing Michael Thomas deep passes across the middle. You got Zay Flowers out there running around. Their offense will look nasty, man. And the Ravens are trying to compete against the Kansas City Chiefs, man. They trying to take down the Chiefs. Everybody trying to take down the Chiefs. And how do you do that? Building and having more weapons around your wide receivers, man. Let's be fair. I don't care how good your defense is. You're not going to hold Pat P to under 10 points. So, in, in other words, you're going to need an offense that can score some points, man. Spread their asses out. Have all the wide receivers on the field and have them pick their poison. Like, go out and sign Michael Thomas, man. But y'all let me know in the comment section below. How would you feel if the Baltimore Ravens went out and signed Michael Thomas? I think it'd be they can't lose. I signed him for a one year deal with no guarantee. Probably about five or six million. And he might ball out. Shit. That will that will I'll be banking on if I'm the Ravens. But y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. How would y'all feel if they signed Michael Thomas?